This tutorial is all about guideline daily amounts and how we can use uh, calculations to work these out and also about salt and its relationship with sodium um, and why sometimes the food labels uh, are a little misleading in that they give the amount of sodium rather than the amount of salt because it makes it look smaller. So you'll be expected uh, from the specification to interpret information on food packaging about guideline daily amounts. For example, the percentage of a guideline daily amount in a portion. But at uh, this higher level, interpreting more complex food information, for example, converting from sodium to amounts of salt, which will be a higher amount, and explain why that might not be entirely accurate. The whole idea of these guideline daily amounts, uh, they used to be called recommended daily uh, allowances. These guideline daily amounts are recommended by, I guess, the government um, for adults and for children about how much they should be eating of each particular type of food group. And you can see from this packet of Ritz crackers here that we've got the guideline daily amounts of various uh, substances within the food and also we've got the amounts per 27 grams or about eight biscuits that you might scoff in one go or indeed so that you can compare one food against other foods it also gives it for a unit mass of 100 grams. You can use these food labels for various questions for example here what percentage of the adult GDA of fiber is present in eight of these Ritz crackers? Well, we can see when we look along the fiber line that the adult GDA is 24 grams and eight Ritz crackers give you 0 0.8 grams. But what percentage is 0 0.8 of 24? Well, it's 0 0.8 over 24 expressed as a percentage so 8 rich crackers will give you 3.3% of the fiber you need as an adult per day. And here's another question about the protein. The protein is on this line here. What mass of crackers must an adult eat, and I'm not recommending this, to gain the recommended daily uh, amount of protein? Ritz crackers not judged to be the greatest source of protein, I don't think, because if you look at uh, the amounts here on this line, 45 grams uh, is the recommended daily amount for uh, an adult for protein. And even 100 grams of these crackers only give you 7 grams. So to work out how many lots of 100 grams we've uh, got to eat, we've got to do 45 divided by uh, 7 and then multiply that by the 100 grams and that gives you 642 grams of crackers to get your recommended daily amount and that's um, that's quite a lot, that's uh, just over three boxes. As I said, not recommended. On to questions about sodium and salt. Um, you may know salt is sodium chloride or NaCl and NaCl is made up of one sodium atom weighing 23 and a chlorine atom weighing 35.5 so the uh, relative formula mass of salt or sodium chloride is 58.5 but how much of that is sodium? Well the sodium atom we said was 23 so uh, only sort of 23 out of 58.5 of it is sodium However, if they're going to give you the mass of the sodium and you have to work out the mass of the equivalent amount of salt, then you've got to scale up by this uh, scaling factor of 58.5 over 23 times higher. Now, as it says on the packet, uh, the mass of sodium is 1.3 grams. That's the equivalent to the like the 23, but we've got to work out what it's equivalent to like the 58.5. So it's going to be a lot more in terms of salt. It's going to be 58.5 over 23 multiplied by that 1.3 grams of sodium comes to 3.31 grams. As you can see, they've given the equivalent of salt on that label and they've done it correctly. So how much salt are you getting in a typical serving of Bisto gravy? Well, let's have a look at this label. A serving says it contains 0.21 grams of sodium.
but of course the salt is going to be more than that. So the equivalent mass of salt is going to be that 0.21 grams multiplied by a um, conversion factor of 58.5 over 23 grams and that's going to come to 0.53 grams which is considerably more when you consider that. Of course this 58.5 and this 23 you're not going to have to necessarily remember all you have to do is remember the formula of salt is NaCl and then you can use your periodic table to work those figures out. So in summary, if you've got a mass of sodium and you have to work out what the equivalent mass of salt is, you have to use this multiplying factor of your NaCl over your Na. So if you've got a mass, you've got to multiply that mass of sodium by something like 58.5, which is your... Uh, 23 plus your 35.5 for your Na and your Cl divided by the mass of the sodium which is 23 and then that will give you your mass of salt NaCl. Here's another worked example. Here's your Ainsley Harriet spicy lentil cup soup uh, quite high in sodium and salt and it tells you per sachet uh, which I guess is per serving, there's 0.5 of a gram of sodium in it, but what's that in terms of salt? Well, your mass of your salt is going to be your 0.5 multiplied by your 58.5 over 23, and that comes to 1.27 grams of salt, which is quite a considerable amount. Ah, but is it fair to say that if you're given the mass of sodium, for example here, per slice um, of 0 0.08 grams, is that all going to be from salt? Surely there must be some other sodium compounds, in other words some other sources of sodium that might be in that same food which aren't salt. Well let's have a look at the other part of the label, the ingredients. Yes, as suspected, it's not just salt which is a, a source of sodium. Okay, let's have a look through the lists. You see if you can do it quicker than me. Okay, well, one of them, we've got this raising agent, disodium diphosphate, and we've also got the raising agent, sodium bicarbonate. That's got sodium in it. Of course, there's the salt there. Uh, any others? Yep, and one other, we've got a gelling agent, which is sodium alginate. So all of those um, ingredients are also going to contribute sodium but aren't uh, sources of salt. Here's a past exam question. Arthur looks at the pack to see what it contains. It's OCR cereal. Mmm, tasty. And the cereal packet is 20 grams. On the label it has that the uh, iron here 7.9 milligrams and it says it's 55% of the recommended daily amount. Now Arthur says that the pack of cereal will give him 55% of the recommended daily allowance of iron but it's not true. Why? Well that's because this and this don't tie up. If he were to eat five packs, in other words a hundred grams of the cereal, then yes he would have 55% of the amount. But as he's only eating 20 grams, he's not going to get his 55%, he's going to get only a fifth of that, or 11%. Um, it, so explain why the uh, RDA is for 100 grams, but the cereal only weighs 20 grams. A large pack of cereal contains one gram of sodium. Arthur knows that the mass of salt is 2.54 times greater than the mass of sodium. In fact, the cereal pack contains less than 2.54 grams of salt. Suggest why? And this is because uh, the pack may contain other sources of sodium 
which aren't salt.